Okay, suggestions for a team. I need an effective team. I think I think I still liked doing this. It's my new favorite thing. It really really is. I think that having princess so that we've got the means to get a lot of charge attacks bouncing around is is pretty good. And I think I enjoyed having that 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 Russell muscle definitely. Being able to set things alight was was pretty good. I I, I think I think I'm just going to go with this one. I think I'm just going to go with this team. We didn't do so well on that last one. I mean, we got to what wave 17. That's we got to what was it wave 44 or something on the last last stand. It was nuts. Hope everyone saw that with the old uh, elite walkers coming out. Let's get you guys ensnared. Let's get some charge points for old princess. And then we can make an attack here and we're, we're kind of safe anyway. It's not like... This is one of the advantages, definitely, of having a ranged melee weapon. You can ensnare or confuse your target and then you just... Yeah, you can make a nice, high-powered attack. One other creator and Scott a second, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, old Dark got there first, didn't he? But um, that's absolutely fantastic. It's just it's just nice to be sort of recognised and thought of and, and involved. It really, really is. So, how about we do... Ah, come on. It's called 3, 2, 1, boom. <laughs> Discord mod. Well, yeah, it's just perfectly natural that he gets first dibs then. Um, let's go here, let's go here, let's go here. Ooh, do we go for the mass confuse? Nice. And then this just means that we can do ever we want to these guys because they will stay confused it's just lovely now obviously we've got to be a little bit careful with walloping things with rick turns out that engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat with um flaming corpses is not a good idea don't try it in real life Okay, so you're not really a problem at the moment. I think we're looking at maybe getting some of these guys cooking. Ooh. Boy, oh boy, is it tempting to uh, maybe confuse that guy. But I think I think we'd be taking a, a bit of a risk doing that. Let's go here. No, I'm not going to attack you because of the hurt that that will bring. For watching for two years i know what i can do on twitch run let's see where epic takes us i mean it's nice because this game has has been it's been around for six seven years now I, I i sort of lose track but um it's it's kind of fun that we're still discussing new ways to sort of get people enjoying it new new ideas videos and, and and things like that so do we risk making this guy confused yes we do it paid off excellent Ooh, I could set those barrels off couldn't I kaboom I just, 
I, I like to set those barrels off at the very first reasonable opportunity. Um, and that's because if we have a situation like we had last time, where I die and the barrels haven't been uh, set off, I just feel terrible. I'm like, oh no, I, I made a real mistake there. I could have, could have, I'm sure I could have set those barrels off and uh, leveled the playing field. Hello there. Schweizerlaugun... Sorry, I, I, oh gosh, I can't pronounce that name, but it is absolutely wonderful to have you here. How do you like the Pouvoir flag? Um, it is, it's just incredible, actually. I've, I've really, really been enjoying it. It is, it is two things. It's very, very effective, and it's also very, very fun. And I like that combination. So yeah, I've, I've been using it all the time. Using it in the videos especially. And it's precisely because of that. Because you could um and ah about using... I mean, the Sawtooth Blade is classic. The Assault Rifle is just... It's just brutal. That is just really, really effective. But the flag is just... is so much fun. So I, I very often use it. I mean, it's... it's Yeah, it's, it's fun and it's, it's effective in use without being overpowered yeah it is it's completely different and, and again it just comes back to that whole idea of like well this game's been out for a very long time but still you know interesting new stuff is happening with it you know the confused mechanic is is something else and it's speaking of which yes I mean that is just so satisfying I mean that it's just a joy when that happens. Whoops. Excuse me just one second. I'm getting messages through on my uh, on my phone. Excuse me just one moment. Thank you very much for your patience. So um, uh, I'm playing on my phone, obviously. I normally switch the Do Not Disturb on for like two hours. We've been playing for two hours and three minutes. Oh my God, I didn't even notice. Oh my gosh, wow. Uh, jeez. <laughs> Your lab results are back. It's not good. Yeah, um... Yeah, you kind of don't, people don't want to see that thing when you stream, or maybe they do, uh, but you just share screen everybody, welcome to my life. No, um, yeah, not, I, I, I put the do not disturb on for two hours because I'm just like, well, I'm not going to be playing this for like two hours straight, and here I am. To be fair, part of this is just because... I, I, I couldn't I couldn't let that last performance on last stand um, stand just wasn't good enough oh my god Rick you just I'm, I'm just saying about how we can't suck and and that happens just makes the stream more fun wonder what personal details he'll give away this time. <laughs> yeah I think that was an availability check for a film or something I don't know Anyway. Okay, let's get you rooted. Let's see if we can make you go nuts. We can. Get one text message and Rick dies. Yeah, it's it's a bug. Can you can you speak to the devs please? It's like I wasn't gonna say anything, but it's getting annoying now. Um Uh, we are just too damn awesome, and Scott, you can't let you... Well, yeah, I mean, actually, to be fair, I'm just... I'm having so much fun. I can't... Uh, I mean... Start doing videos... God, I don't know. How long ago did I start doing... Like, three years ago? And it was, literally. It was No Man's Land, and, and I think somebody asked the question, and I was I was pretty much writing a dissertation, because it's just like... You got to consider this. Oh, and then this, and then this is kind of, and it was just like this is taking way too long, and nobody's ever going to read it, and and 
like, what the hell am I doing? And I just thought, okay, well, I've never done this before. I'm just going to record a video on my phone. Um, and then I, I think I put it on YouTube. And, and I don't know, people seem to, to like it. They seem to like the information or whatever. And if I go back to it, if I go back to my first video, it's probably going to be really embarrassing. Um... <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's that's all I sort of started, and now I, I just, I really do absolutely love it. So when you're sort of saying like, oh, he can't leave us, it's like, yeah. Yeah, this this is true. It's pretty much how it works. It's just too much fun. Hmm. Gemma, Gemma, of course, my wife is in the guild as well, because it was in the wedding vows. Weird wedding vows. Um. <laughs> Riggedy Rick, uh, how about we see if we can get this guy out? Uh, how about we do this? Gotta keep remembering to repair Rick, because he's, he's just going to keep on getting hurt. Going to keep on getting burned. Um, physically, not emotionally as he attacks these walkers. Oh, he may be emotionally as well. I don't know. don't know what kind of relationship he's got with them. Probably not a good one. Uh, let's see. What do we need to do here? We need you... Dead? Yes, it is really cool. As I've always said, a family that games together stames together. Yes, yeah, yeah, uh, classic Star Wars Battlefront on Friday, that's, that's becoming a bit of a family tradition now. Yeah. That's exactly the same, yes. <laughs> it's, it's up there with a noble heart and biggens us all. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this tank to go... Crazy, she's yes. Hey! She's better at battle. She has a more advanced <laughs> character in Battlefront. She has the character that she has been using for about 20 years in that game. With all of the mods and all of the boosts and stuff. But yes, to be fair, she is actually awesome at that game. I have no idea. How the hell did I introduce you to that game? It's like, you weren't even into gaming at all when we met. Let's... Ooh, yeah. Metalhead versus Spiky. It's on. Okay, Princess, can you get fully charged? Yes, you can. And then we've got some bad guys coming in from the north. So what do we want to do there? Um... I can't see a lot of value in using our charge points. I want you cooking. Good looking. Okay, let's get him crazy. Oh, good question here, actually. Does it work towards the score multiplier if a walker kills another walker because it's confused? And do you get the points as the player? Because it sort of is... It, it's only sort of a kill by your hand, isn't it? That that sort of counts. So does it does it count? Let's do that. Let's do that. You, I've got to be a little bit aware of. Um, let's get a kill here. Let's keep that score multiplier going up. Probably free weightlifting, like free weights, instead of instead of just going on the crappy machines and like actually flipping, yeah, doing some actual proper flipping weight training. Theater and stage, yes, us us being on stage, I suppose, yes. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, I never went to the theatre. I never went to musicals or stage productions or anything before, so... That's true. Uh, we have done, yes, we did... Um, there's a performance of Anton Chekhov's The Bear. So I was uh, Grigory Stepanovich Smirnov. What was your character's name? And then Gemma was the, the female lead. <laughs> well, Gemma's still performing. She's um, she is in a rock band, Bare Metal Prophecy. Uh, she's the singer. So they do um, well. They do their own stuff, their own original stuff, which I think is very. Uh, you could do more of that more with that I think but that's discussion for another time um, but it's classic rock and new metal so uh, ACDC Pink Floyd lots of, of um, Iron Maiden Metallica it's all started with, with accidentally getting a, a flipping text through or something, wasn't it? Because my Do Not Disturb was, was yeah. off. Um, when a titch stream of the rehearsals. Yeah, Enter Sandman, yes. That's that's usually what they finish the, uh, the set off with. I know, I know. We're making us, we're making ourselves sound so awesome. It's like, with <laughs> you want to twitch? You, you could, you could twitch the. Yeah, you could twitch stream the rehearsal. Do you reckon Will would actually want to do that? Okay, actually, that's uh, all right. Yeah. Um, whether that was intended in jest or not, I don't know, but. Oh, you've seen some of the things that people Twitch stream. It's not gaming. Um, <laughs> right, let's... Oh, yeah, I'm playing a game. Um, <laughs> no, I'm okay. Okay, so we've got, uh, so we've got the old confused there. So far, I name all kinds of hobbies. Yeah, uh... Well, I think, I think there's some videos on YouTube. So, yes, yes, Geron, I uh, will. Sitting in bathtubs, selling the bathwater. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, we've got, got a bit of a sticky situation right here. I'm not talking about people watching those streams of people in bathtubs. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no pun intended. I really, I really didn't intend for that to go there. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's just, that's just too bad. Um, that, that, that. Okay, you are not crippled. You are not crippled. <laughs> I think we, uh, I think we use a tool here. Oh my god! You d oh, I did not mean for you to go there. I Whatever, okay, he's got to be crippled. He's hopefully gonna die. He did. Thank you. Um... Okay. <laughs> this is es this is escalating so quickly. Oh, I guess I guess I enjoy making original videos as well. So I did that that thing that was like a parody of the trailer for Star Trek: First Contact. That was just so much fun to do. I don't know what that what that was just an idea that I had. Um, prob maybe while I was in the bath. I don't know. Um, and I actually just sort of did it. So doing doing original videos, I have done 
I think the first one that I ever did was actually for The Walking Dead. It was 10 defining moments of The Walking Dead. That was just really, really fun. When the series came to an end, I just thought, like, well, I kind of, you know, I kind of got my thoughts on the series. I know some of the behind-the-scenes stuff, so I kind of want to make a video of that. So that's something that I did. So that would be, yeah, that would be a hobby. I, I, I would say I would say making dumbass YouTube videos um, about stuff that nobody really watches is is that as well. <laughs> See me react watching The Walking Dead, right? Those people are dramatic. I mean, I ugh. the closest that I've got to that, and it's something that I really enjoyed, is when the episode missions came up on the game you know I, I would talk about the missions but I would also sort of talk about the, the episode as well that's not really possible now because and this is amazing we can't get new The Walking Dead in the UK did I just put Rick in mortal danger I sort of did but he's okay um, but I love doing that so as soon as, as yeah as soon as those episodes came out I'd talk about the mission how to get that done? Yeah, and also, yeah, and also sort of talk about uh, my thoughts on the actual TV episode. It was brill. Now, what can we do here? We can do, we can do that. Problem is that metalhead right there. When is the ones who live airing in the UK? I don't know, because, because seriously, uh, uh, Tales, Dead City, Daryl Dixon. There seem to be no distribution rights, and they are not available legally in the UK. <laughs> so it's a it's a it's a thing. Tales on Amazon Prime or Disney Plus. Um, I mean, again, it might. I, I, it's been a while since I checked. Why would they say yes and no? Oh, Brexit. Oh, God. I'm not... Not even opening that can of toilet water. Uh, okay, we need to... We need to really get some confusion going on here. Especially you. You're the, you're the guy that I needed confused. And you're not confused, damn it. And I can't stun you or anything. Curses. Uh, we could push him back, I guess, with a stun grenade, and then Rick is still risk there. Yes, I've seen the Chandler Riggs uh, reacting to the walking, de the the bad lip reading. I I respect him because somebody was sort of saying like. Are you gonna do a sing along to that to the song that they use in there? And he's like, "No, that's like, no, that's stupid. Why would I do that?" And I'm like, "Yeah, he's kind of that's that's entirely fair." Um, yes, when they played it at Walker Stalker, we did indeed break one song. It's different. Uh, is there a way out of this, or do I just let Rick die horribly? I suppose uh, I could do that. Concerned about him, but I'm hoping that we'll get some good defensive shooting. I mean, yeah, the the bad lip reading for The Walking Dead is, is it really is so funny. It really is. It's, it's absolutely hilarious. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so that deals with him. I wanted him dealt with. Uh, he might burn to death. Well, he did. He did burn to death. Where's Rufus? Oh, sorry, not Rufus. Whatever his name is. Uh... So this, uh, yeah, so, so, so this run of The Last Stands, all four of them have been really, really bad. 
But they have been immensely good fun. I think we're pretty much there. I mean, my god. I... Not the best runs of the last stand that we've ever had. But I think this is the most fun that I've had streaming. So that's kind of good. Got some, got some decent rewards. Where are we? top two? Okay, well, top top two percent. I mean, if you say so. Um, but I think that that would do. That is a mammoth two hour and twenty one streaming session, and we'll uh, we'll call it a stream there. Thank you very much for joining me, everybody. Thank you very much for subscribing, and yeah, just being a part of it. It's been absolutely awesome. Uh, next one, I think, is this War of Mine on Wednesday. But as ever, No Man's Land, Monday night is No Man's Land night. So, if I don't see you before, I will see you then. Good night, everybody.